dear God, I want to just say to the New York Giants, thank you so much for giving us the, the legend that is Saquon Barkley. I don't think I've ever seen a running back do what this man has been doing in Philadelphia ever in my 24 years. And I've seen some really good running backs. I've seen Brian Westbrook come in here and do a crazy amount of good things. LaShawn McCoy, you know, Darren Sproles. We had DeMarco Murray for a little bit. That was kind of cool. Didn't really do do a whole lot thanks to the coach, but he was here. Um Jay Ajayi and LeGarrette Blunt kind of doing their crazy things. And, of course, the late, great Miles Sanders. Good luck and get better. He's on IR now, so hopefully he's doing okay down in Carolina. I, I, I know it's probably very tough down there. But Saquon Barkley is on a whole nother level. And he completely took this game over with the offense, especially in the past, in the first half specifically, struggling to figure out what to do without Devontae Smith. Um, it's clear right here, right now, very obviously that the Eagles have a one lone situation, which is the number three wide receiver. Jahan Dotson hasn't emerged. Obviously, Johnny Wilson is a rookie who gets limited snaps. And Britton Covey just came back from injury, so he was pump returning, not doing a whole lot. So they got to find that third man that can step up even when the other two guys are healthy. Because AJ did a great amount of stuff today. Dallas Goddard had a few, you know, safe six, seven-yard catches. Nothing ridiculous on his end. Tonight was just the Saquon Barkley show featuring Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown. That was really what tonight was. And while I'm all for that, 255 yards on the ground, add on another 50 through the air. I mean, it's great and it's awesome. But I would love to see another player in the wide receiver group step up when we need them to. But if that's the one thing that you have to, you know, complain about or have an issue with, I'll take that any day because we still put up 37 points and you saw this team do some great, great stuff on offense and on defense. Puka Nakua played his ass off. He did a really, really good job tonight. Uh, against guys like Quinion Mitchell, Slay, and then eventually Isaiah Rogers getting picked on a lot. The referees were really biased, even though it was an even game when it came to penalties at the end of the day. Two of those penalties were phantom PIs that even Chris Collinsworth, the guy who does not like Philadelphia that much, couldn't even say anything about because they were not good calls. And they both led to 14 of the 20, and if you subtract those six, all of the Rams' uh, touchdowns, uh, all their all their points. So... Yeah, not cool. Not cool whatsoever. But the Eagles managed to do what they do best. They sacked um, Matt Stafford like five times. Jalen Carter is getting double teamed, but he still pr uh, proves to be a beast. Brandon Graham is still a menace on the outside. And obviously you're seeing the emergence of Milton Williams and Josh Sweat continue to improve and do a lot of good things. Zach Bond did some really good stuff. Uh, CJ Gardner-Johnson, really good open field tackling. This, de this defense is really, really special. And they started off the game too rocky. The first two drives were really, really rough to watch. But one of them, they forced a fumble and took the ball and it led to three points. And that was that, you know? And the Eagles, they took the lead at the end of the second quarter and did not let it go. And that's what you want to see. You don't want to see this team struggle going into halftime, struggling for most of the game. You want to see them take the lead and keep it and run away with it. And that's what they did literally, not figuratively. They ran away with this and it was a glorious sight to see. So 37 to 20 minus the six points that they got in garbage time, minus the 14 points that were handed to them. I'd rather say that this was 37 to six because the refs really were not on our side with those two pass interference calls. It, it was really bad. But regardless, really great win. Setting the tone for this, how this team is supposed to be and how scary they will be as we get closer to December, as we get closer to January. You know, the Lions, they did their thing. The Vikings, they're still playing their football against the Bears. But... Nine, ten win teams right there in the NFC. And then, of course, the Packers, eight and three, they're still there as well. But it really is t two top top. What? Two top dogs. And that is the Lions and the Eagles on the NFC side. Bills, 
Chiefs, Ravens, everybody else on the AFC side, they're still figuring out who exactly are the top dogs over there. It's not the Chiefs, despite them having one more, one more win over the Lions. That's just a fact. Or over the Bills. That's just a fact. But yeah, great win. Really great win. I'm very tired and I'm stumbling on my words. So I'll end it on, end it on that note. Thank you, Giants, for Saquon Barkley. We owe you absolutely nothing, but we still thank you regardless. You guys can continue to watch your poverty franchise make the dumb mistakes that you have made. So have fun. Thank you for Saquon Barkley. And Eagles fans, let's enjoy this, but we have a very tough game next week to get ready for. It's the Ravens, Derrick Henry versus Saquon Barkley. going to be a fun one. Let's get to it. Fly goes fly. I'll see you all later.